friends, this video on kinetic theory part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 6 before going ahead with part 7. Now we will talk about perfect gas equation. What is perfect gas equation? This is PV is equal to mu RT. If you see when I talked about behavior of gases, I said that PV is equal to KT, right? So this equation is nothing different from that. It is basically the representation of the same equation in a different form, which we will come to know just now. So don't get confused that there we wrote some other equation and here we are writing some other equation. Now why is this called perfect gas equation? Because this equation tells about the behavior of a gas at a particular circumstance or a particular situation. For example, as I told that this equation is satisfied by a gas at low pressure and high temperature. Now, if a gas satisfies this equation, we say that the gas is a perfect gas or the gas is an ideal gas. So, this equation is referred to as the perfect gas equation or the ideal gas equation. Now, in this equation, so what is mu in this equation? Mu is nothing but the number of moles of the gas. R is universal gas constant. So, what is this universal gas constant now? Universal gas constant is nothing but it is defined as the product of Boltzmann constant and Avogadro's number. So this is Boltzmann constant and this is Avogadro's number. Now if you see both of them are constant value. Kb is same for all gases. This value of Na is definitely a constant. Therefore, this R is known as universal gas constant because this value will be constant universally. And what is T? T is nothing but absolute temperature. So this is my perfect gas equation. Now we will see that how can I represent the perfect gas equation in some other form. So there are different forms of the perfect gas equation. Now let us look at the first form. So to start with, what did we say? Which, which is the perfect gas equation? That was PV is equal to mu RT, right? This was our perfect gas equation as defined. Now what is mu? Number of moles. So mu can be written as or mu is defined as basically number of molecules divided by the Avogadro's number or it is also defined as the mass of the sample of the gas divided by the molar mass. Right? So this is universally how the number of moles is defined. That is number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. This Avogadro's number is the number of molecules in one mole of gas. Similarly, it is also defined as the ratio of mass of the sample of the gas divided by the molar mass. So using this we can say that let us suppose we put n divided by Na instead of mu in equation 1. So what do we get? We get PV is equal to n divided by Na into RT. Right? Now what is R? I just now told you in the previous slide that R is defined as Na into Kb. Right? So this Na and Na gets cancelled. So this is equal to N into Kb into T. So if you see what is this N into Kb? It is nothing but capital K which I talked about in the slide in which I talked about behavior of gases. So you can see that PV is equal to KT. So that is proof. That means this equation and that equation are the same. They are just different ways of writing things. So from this we get PV 
is equal to n k b into t. Now this we can write as t is equal to n by v into k b into t or we can say p is equal to n into k b into t because this small n is number of molecules per unit volume. So this n is nothing but number density. So the perfect gas equation can also be written like this where what is n? n is nothing but number density that is number of molecules per unit volume. So this was my first alternate form of perfect gas equation. Now what is the use of telling different forms of the same equation? Why I am telling you is suppose if the perfect gas is expressed in one of these forms you might see the equation and you might think that no a perfect gas equation was PB is equal to mu RT but it is something else right. So, because it is not always easy to recollect things then and there. That is why I am telling you how do we get all these different forms of perfect gas equation. So, what I am trying to tell you is these all equations basically are the same. So, let us see the second form now. In the second form, what we will do is we will put the value of mu is equal to m divided by m naught in equation 1. So earlier I had put n by n a, now I will put m by m naught. So what will I get? I will get PV is equal to m divided by m naught into RT. So this we can write as P is equal to m divided by V into 1 by m naught into rt. So what do you think is m by b? Mass per unit volume is nothing but density. So I can write p is equal to rho rt divided by m naught where m naught is the molar mass. So what is rho? This rho is nothing but mass density of the gas. So one equation was in terms of number density that is number of molecules per unit volume. The other one is in terms of mass density that is mass of the gas per unit volume. So this was my second form of the ideal gas equation. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.